Okay, and the break is from Yakima. He had a brother who carved out a tremendous career at Gonzaga. The younger came on the Palouse to play for the Kooks. The 2-2 pitch. Up the middle, Vandebrake tags the mound with it as it gets a little upshoot into center. RBI single for Justin Vandebrake, and the Cougars are on the board in the home first. Oregon State having no trouble working the pitch count up here in inning number two. McMillan still struck, stuck on two strikes and is 2-2. Fastball called strike three at 90 miles an hour. Meckler looking around for help. The corner runners one out for Stancato. The first pitch to him. Hit towards left center field. Has a chance to be a gap shot. A jumping catch by Meckler off to his left side will be good for the out. Jones, the second, tags up. And the throw comes back to the infield behind second. Runners to their leads once again. McMillan's 2-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Chased by Forrester on the lower half. The 0-1 pitch. Knocked up the middle. Stancato drives it through. This will score both runners for Washington State. An opportunity to post a zero up on the scoreboard for Oregon State. The 3-2 one more time. Swung on and missed. Huge strikeout for Cam Liss. As he gets the Cougars out of the bases loaded jam. See if he tries to get after it early again in this one behind 0-1. List with the next offering. Check swing in her half. Charging into it is the third baseman. Hainline with a great throw home to Cresswell. And he gets Melton who took off with the contact on the check swing. Throw on the money from Hainline. But they're still trying to fight back from down three. One out, couple aboard here for Stancato. He swings at the first pitch, knocks it to left field. This will be in fair. It's bouncing to the corner. Around third is Hainline. He's going to score. Getting the wave on is Cresswell. Relay's coming home. Cresswell slides, feet first, and he scores. A two RBI double for Kyler Stancato into the left field corner. It gets the Cougars within one. Stancato five ribbies today. It's a one run game with the tying run 90 feet away. 1 0 to Montez. Takes a swing right side of the infield. It's through the hole, and the Cougs have knotted it up here in the sixth. RBI single for Montez on the ground through the right side of the infield. And new ball game seven all in the bottom half of the sixth inning. The 0-2 from Barrison on the ground at third. Stepping on third is Hainline, and he goes across the diamond for the double play. Force out at third. Hainline throws across, and the 5-3 double play gets the Cougars out of the top half of the eighth inning. Barrison's 1-2 pitch. Waved at and missed. Strikeout for Barrison. He had Bazana fishing low in the zone. And Oregon State strands a runner in the top of the ninth. 16th hit would be a huge one for the Cougars. They've won the back stretch of this game, and Montez hits it through the right side. That'll tie it up at eight. Stancato is racing for third. A relay, not in time, and Colin Montez evens it and gives the Cougars a chance to win it now here in the ninth. Matthews, an outstanding hitter in junior college. 
2 1 pitch. Matthews hits it right side. That's a winner. Bryce Matthews walks it off for the Cougars, and they come from behind to take it 9 to 8. Montez and then Matthews with two outs in the ninth. RBI singles for each of them. And Bryce Matthews, as a pinch hitter, singles in all three at-bats since his first try in the sixth. And the Cougars claim one from number four, Oregon State, this afternoon in Pullman. They needed the bats to come alive. They did for 17 hits. And clutch play down the stretch with the Cougars erasing an early 5-1 to one deficit to win it 9-8 to eight this afternoon. They claim their first home win of 2022 and their first of hopefully many wins in Pac-12 play.